Alright fellas, so first of all you need to be right inside the Adobe After Effects 2023. The latest version of the Adobe After Effects is required to make that work. So as you can see we are right inside the Adobe After Effects and first of all let us create a new project and uh, in order to make the things work better let us create a composition and let me apply the default settings and click on OK. Alright, so once you're done you need to go to the edit in the top left corner of the screen and you need to navigate to preferences and you need to navigate to previews so first of all you need to be right inside the previews and you need to make sure under the cache frames when idle the idle delay before caching starts is set as 10 seconds and the cache frames should be around current time and the cache range should be work area extended by current time so secondly you need to navigate to memory and performance and you need to first of all find out what is your installed RAM in this case I have 16 GB of installed RAM I will reserve the RAM for other applications to its minimum I will drag it to the left side so that the minimum RAM can be used for other applications and the maximum RAM should be available for the After Effects. If I have 16 GB of RAM, 3 GB will be reserved for other applications and 13 GB would be used by my After Effects. So once you're done, you need to find this option performance and you need to make sure you check this option enable multi-frame rendering. This is the new feature powered by Adobe After Effects that will boost up your preview speed of the timeline and the rendering speed in the After Effects. So it is saying that the percentage CPU reserved for other application should be minimum that is a 10 percent it means that the 90 percent of the CPU will be used and 90 percent of the CPU will be used by the after effects so this is very important setting that you can use if you are adding the videos in the render queue and you are exporting videos directly to the Premiere Pro and the media encoder and once you are done you need to click on ok and I have made another videos on boosting your rendering speed in the after effects go check out the best in video control panel settings for the after effects and also apply the secret settings to further increase your rendering speed in the after effects so that's it and i hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day